Right, what do you think about Tyson against Wilder? How does that play out next month, Dennis? Uh, I got asked this on the radio the day. Uh, I think he could break all records as regards the pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, and I think Tyson is a selling machine. I think he's great TV. To say he's only won one world title fight. Great TV. Um, Deontay Wilder is the is a gunslinger. Oh my God! Biggest puncher ever. And it's it's uh, but Tyson said I'm going to knock you out in two rounds. It's it's great theatre. It's great theatre. So is he playing a mind game again with Deontay? And is Deontay going to get that revved up? He's going to burn himself out. There's all sorts of different scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. We can Joshua. Yeah, yeah the sun's yeah. I know I did, but we're not now. We're going in five. Yeah, right, we're yeah. going to twelve wrap it up now, yeah. Five yeah. minutes. Time to come in and sit down, yeah. Ten minutes. We'll go in ten minutes. Yeah, right. Uh so we we spoke about Tyson and uh Wilder. So you've got Tyson winning on points and I've got Wilder knocking him out, Dennis. No, I haven't. And you what have you got then? I'm undecided. I'm just going to wrap it up now, mate. Alright, alright. Come sit down and spill. Something to finish it off now. Alright, Josh, you're doing it. Josh and Mick join us. Proper people. Just talking about you So you've got Tyson and Wilder, have you got that? I'm going to get a coin out and flick it. So it's that 50 50, is it, Daniel? I'm undecided yet. I'll let you know which way I'm going to vote. Have you all that Brexit? I'll know which way I'm going to vote. Fury points. Fury points, what about you mate? Yeah, I'll go with that thing, pal. Fury points? Yes. You don't do enough well there. No. Looking for shots. Yeah. Just one big shot. He'll be prepared this time. Tyson half boxes him pretty yeah. easy to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. I think he, he's hard enough to keep Wilder honest as well. So yeah. He just yeah. Yeah. In, you know. There's no doubt he's best in the world, Tyson Fury. Yeah? Yeah, without a doubt. You agree with that, Dennis? Well, I said he were. I said he were, um, like I said before, I, I wish he'd have stayed with Peter. Yeah. Because I don't like, I, you know, why change something that's not broken? Um, and obviously they've got the reasons, but, you know, he's had, he's changed his uh, training again. And um, he's, he's got so much ability, I think he'd have been as well, you know, staying, you know, working things out with Peter. And look what he achieved together. They went into the lion's den with Klitschko. When, when he beat Klitschko, he says, yeah, he must have been past his best. Then then when Joshua beat Klitschko, he said that we're the best Klitschko who Joshua beat. So, you know, what's he got to do, Tyson? Uh, yeah. And I, 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 I did rate him them as the best, but I think I, I take my hat off to them two. And even before Joshua got beat, everybody, people in this country saying Joshua's the best in the world. Mm. I said, no, them two are the best in the world because they've stood their neck out and fought each other. Those three were the elite fighters. Mm. Then when them two elite fighters fought each other and they fought a draw, for me they're the best two. Yeah. And mm. Joshua was behind them and then they then he proved he was behind them because he got beat by Ruiz, but yet he come back, fought a different fight, but Ruiz went out and parted. So I don't know, I, I think, and I, I and I like any British kid to, to, to win at whatever we're doing. Is uh, But I think those two, at the moment now, I think those two, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, beat Joshua. Is uh, might be wrong, but that's my opinion. Is Anthony Joshua now gun shy? Could be. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that, Josh? Yeah. 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 To be honest, I agree. What Dennis has got, you know, that yeah. to Wilder beats Joshua as well. To be honest, every, yeah. time, every time he's been uh, Ray, he's gone down. It looks he? like he's terrified now. Nah. Looks like he's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had him down and uh, obviously mm -hmm. Ruiz finished him off but he, then he adopted a style against Ruiz, I mean... Yeah, he, you know he were a bit of that but it were also Ruiz just didn't yeah. turn up did he, I mean, no. not even trained properly has he? Really. It was all a recipe for a disaster yeah. wasn't it, for Ruiz, wasn't it? They, they can't say what they want, they can say, oh it's boxing, it's an art, eating up. You can't keep going to pay for your big events like that if you're going to run right ring. He can't fight like that. Yeah, that one, one and they put it up a fiver and I got it right and got mm. criticised for saying they'll put it up. Because mm. they thought it'd be his last fight if he got beat, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Now they're in a bad situation, I think, whereas he's won by going up back foot. Yeah. 
And they're stuck with his 25 quid thing. You've got to give uh, Wilder credit because he fights kids that play just for yeah. the Ortiz. Don't be able to exactly. You're not cool I think to fight all the Ortiz. Yeah. Someone once told me that, and Bobby Janice said, you're better off having a, a good chin than a good punch. Yeah. Because yeah. that'll get you out of trouble. Mm. And I think even though Tyson Fury goes down, he gets back up. He's got a great chin, hasn't yeah. he? So he's got a great chin. Yeah. And I think Deontay's chin is a lot better, obviously, than. Um, Joshua's. Yeah. So yeah. them two, I think, when it comes to it, if it come down to anything, I think it'll come down to chins. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, yeah. uh, I think their two chins are better than AJ's. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I'd let him down. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still a bit undecided with with Deontay and Tyson. Oh, yeah. he, just, he just doesn't do enough. He doesn't do enough, but I think you know, what like, Tyson did on the last one. last fight, weren't he? I think he what Tyson yeah, he, he, knocked him out. he looks for that. Yeah. But I think what he what he'd done, he'd, 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 he'd lost himself in the hype as well. I think he got under his skin as well, so he got even more tensed up. Mm. Yeah. So, he, he, so he couldn't sustain something because he was out yeah. tensed up. He was blowing. And after he knocked him down, where we thought it were all over, Tyson ended up coming back and nearly, and it started to stiffen his legs. Yeah. He did, he did. So, and I think that was down to him getting that wound up, and I think he was blowing himself out because he was that tense. Mm. And he was that intent on getting that on, and finishing him, that uh, I, I don't think he got the distance as well as he could have done. Yeah. So I just think he's too clever. He is clever. Okay, so he's too he's clever. Oh, yeah. he's got, he, 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 a really smart kid. He's, he can he's adapt. Been. He's so adaptable. Yeah. Yeah. And and I and I know why you're saying that. Yeah. Uh, that you think he wins, and yeah. and, I, and I would be probably inclined to agree with you, but I just think uh, he's the hardest puncher he's been probably since maybe George Foreman. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And he's only. He's not, he's not naturally. Oh, he's not massive. What is he, 15 and a half, 16? 15 and a half. He's athletic more than, more than yeah, anything, but, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He generates talk, but them tall yeah. thin guys do like Tommy Hearns and him, don't they? Yeah, that's right. They generate it, don't they, Danny? Yeah. Bob Foster, another you one, wasn't it? Demonstrating. I'm going to say, he's really training, isn't he? He's really training, isn't he? He's really training, isn't he? He's ready for the fence of fear, isn't he? He's ready. 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 He's <laughs> Don't you get out of breath with no jump leads in here. <laughs> right, moving on then, we'll wrap up. Uh, Dillian White's situation is getting a lot of steak because he's caught, he, he seems to be fighting not the main people, but he's calling them out all the time when they've, when they've got fights due. But he hasn't served papers on the WBC to fight Wilder when he's got the opportunity. Does he want to pick up pay-per-views? And not have a legacy. Are you sure what? that Eddie's not um, manoeuvring a White versus Joshua fight again? Well, he's already not that back White once, hasn't he? Well, if I were White, that's the fight I'd be going after. Yeah, but well, like big I said, big money fight for him, and I'm mm. probably out of the three the least dangerous. It could be dangerous for Joshua that fight. Might get beat Joshua. Saying, that's what I'm saying. So, if I were Dillian's manager, that's the fight. But he's trying to keep them belts in house because Chisora's fighting Usek. They're matchroom fighters, aren't they? So I think Usek beats him. They're not bothered who's got belts as long as the matchrooms, aren't they? But I think he knows Joshua can get beat now, doesn't he? Can't, can't last forever. Don't think that, mate. Yeah. yeah. And, and at the end of the day, like, what's it worth now, Joshua? About 100 mil? Yeah. Not no, Usek's no, no, some, you know. He's a class act. Yeah, yeah brilliant fella. So Can't wait to see, you know, uh, how he progresses in every way. Who's that? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Yeah. 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 You think he beats Chisora? Yeah. I like, I like Derek. I mean, he's, yeah. he's been a great, been in some great fights. Yes. He's, really, he's a proper boxer's but you know, yes. like he's yeah. a boxing man. But yes. I think, you know, that's a, that's a bad fight. People but. said Derek were, on, were, were finished after the Caballero fight, didn't they? That yeah, was he's, different, he's, a, he's, he's talking different levels here. I mean, that was it. Who's special, special, yeah. special yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Right then. All right then. Well, we'll finish off on that note then. Uh, thanks for coming in, Mick and Josh. We're, we're going to have a meet now. So, Dennis, uh, what are you putting on there? You can even smell that strong. You smell it through camera. Forever putting after shave on us like, aren't we, Dennis? I don't know. I karate me then smell today. Like somewhere, right? So, thanks for watching. Uh, shout out to South Yorkshire packaging and AJ. AJ. Innovation AJ. Alloys. We love you, AJ. Love you, AJ. So that's about it. That's it. Right, we'll finish up and we'll uh, go for a couple.